In this short video, uh, we are going to learn a shortcut method to solve exact equations. So we can say shortcut method, uh, shortcut method to solve to solve exact equation, exact equation. Um, So what is an exact equation? So we know that we can write an exact equation here in this form. So it is, uh, let's say, mxy uh, dx plus nxy dy equal zero. So this is just one form of the equation, but you can write this equation in several different ways. So this is one way, so like we normally call this is the standard form. So this is what we normally call the uh, standard form. Uh, standard uh, form. So let's let's work with the standard form. So it's easy, uh, especially when we learn the technique. So what we're gonna do? Uh, so we say that. So we say that. So we say that. Uh, we say that uh, the equation above. So let's say a differential equation differential equation above uh, is exact is uh, exact exact if there is a if there is a, a function it's a two variable function function f x y uh, such that such that uh, the double if the partial derivative of the function with respect to x equal the first function and the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y equal the second function so if you can find such a function f x y such that the partial derivative with respect to x equal the first function and the partial derivative of um, of f with respect to y equal the second function. If that is the case, we call the um, the differential equation exact. And also, there's a criteria to test uh, that. So let's do that next. So what is the criteria? Criteria to test uh, the exactness, exact equation. Okay. So what is that criteria? So this is what we normally learn in uh, differential equation classes. So what it says that the partial derivative of the m function with respect to the variable y, the other variable, equals the partial uh, derivative of n with respect to the uh, x variable. So if this reverse one, so the partial derivative of m with respect to y equal partial derivative of n with respect to x and then we call this is in this case we call this um, equation is exact okay in this case we call exact so that is the criteria uh, we're going to use uh, to test whether a differential equation given a standard form is exact and it's in the standard form the plus sign is really important and the x comes first dx first dy second okay so, um, so i'm going to put this in a uh, box so that's the uh, criteria now let's talk about the method and uh, what is the shortcut method. So, uh, so the shortcut method is uh, so uh, so let's say method of solution. Method of solution. Method of solution. Uh, so we actually discussed this in our, our lecture. Uh, this this kind of idea so let's talk about this and so this is what we're trying to do so we can start with the uh, the uh, uh, double x function so we know that this is equal to m x y if the function is exact then what we're gonna do we're gonna take the integral of this function with respect to x so we can integrate this with respect to x so if you do that you're gonna get the function f x y uh, which is the integral of m x y with respect to the x variable plus we know that when you integrate this kind of function uh, we're gonna get a uh, uh, 
function of y alone but we can kind of ignore in this case so we are not going to write it uh, in this uh, technique so we don't need that we can write we don't write that now we do the same thing we're going to get uh, we're going to look at the other function uh, daba f over daba y uh, which is the n function and what we're going to do we're going to integrate this one with respect to y variable so when you do that you again get another representation of the same function fxy now what we can do n x y dy okay now what we're gonna do so you're gonna get a uh, two expression for the same function so the idea is we're gonna collect so that's the technique collect the common collect the common and uncommon we're going to collect the common and uncommon terms. We're going to collect the common and uncommon terms once, just once, okay? Once. Uh, and write it as, write it as f, x, y. So we're going to collect all the terms. We're going to collect the common terms and the uncommon terms just once and write this and then we're going to put everything in as the fx function and set this equal to zero and this is the solution that's it okay. see the solution to the uh, differential uh, equation good um, so the criteria again is simple so what we can do uh, we're going to take the uh, first function dar by f over dar by x we know that that has to be equal to the mxy function we're going to integrate that and we're going to go dar by f over dar by y that's the n function we're going to get that with respect to y and then we're going to get two expression what we can do we're going to look for the common terms and we're going to look for the uncommon terms and we're going to write them only once and then you're going to get the solution so this is the uh, criteria that we are gonna use and this is very shortcut so the the thing interesting part is uh, we don't have the uh, differentiation step so we know that this is a long process there are like about six steps but here we don't need that so this is the uh, shortcut so let's do uh, two examples just to see how uh, things gonna work uh, so the first example is say example uh, solve solve uh, x cube minus 4xy uh, dx uh, plus e to the y minus 2x squared plus 3dy equals 0 and you can see that this differential equation is in the uh, standard form and this is the m function that is the uh, n function so what we can do are uh, we gonna pick the first one and then uh, I mean just let's check whether this is exact because if it is not exact we can do this so we can check that that's the checking step with this is exact so daba m over daba y according to the criteria uh, if you take the data with respect to y you're gonna get negative 4x and you can see that this is exactly equal to daba n over daba x because that's also uh, so equal to that so that means the equation exact now we can use the criteria so it's exact equation so uh, what's the criteria we can use the first part the first part is the daba f over daba x function we know that this has to be equal to x3 minus 4xy what we can do we can integrate this one with respect to the x variable so if you do that you're going to get f x y so uh, so what do you get so if you integrate so it's one fourth x to the fourth minus and then uh, if you integrate this one with respect to x so it's x so it's x squared over 2 that means it's going to be 2 x squared y and we are not going to write uh, the uh, the auxiliary function we don't write that so we don't write the constant function. I mean, you can write it, but we intentionally uh, ignore this part. Now the other one. So we can do dar by f over dar by y. So which is equals to e y minus two x squared plus three. Uh, so we can integrate this one with respect to y. So this is f x 
y so if you integrate this one with respect to y we're gonna get e y minus 2x squared y because we respect we are integrated with respect to y so then uh, it's a partial integral so that means x is a constant and then we're gonna also get 3x uh, with respect to y so it's a 3y and then um, we actually we don't need so i write but we don't worry about that term okay that's it so we're done now what we're gonna look for the common term and the uncommon term so what are the common terms so you can see that uh, this is a common term and that's a common term so those two are the common terms and then what are the uncommon terms you can see the uncommon terms are so that is an uncommon term and so this is an uncommon term and that's an uncommon term so we can write the common term once uncommon term once so that means your solution is now uh, so that means uh, the solutions are so it's fxy so fxy equal so we write the uh, uncommon terms it doesn't matter right just write common terms once uncommon terms once so you see uh, one fourth uh, x to the fourth that's one of the uncommon term e y is one of the uncommon term and there's a common term 2 x squared y and then we have 3 y as the uncommon term now we know the solution is we can set this equal to c so that's a solution okay so therefore the solution is the solution is 1 fourth x to the fourth plus e to the y minus 2 x squared y plus 3 y equal c so that's the uh, solution and if you can solve for y but you can see that you cannot solve so this is the implicit solution for y okay so this is the implicit implicit uh, solution for y good so let's do one more example uh, how about uh, how about this one uh, so th the next example uh, let's say solve solve ey cosine x minus 6 x squared y plus ey sine uh, x minus 2 x cube plus 5 equal y prime equal 0 uh, okay but when you look at this problem you can see that this is not in standard form but we know that dy by dx is simply equals to uh, y prime is simply equals to dy by dx so we know that this is simply dy by dx so what we're going to we're going to expand the whole uh, equation by dx both sides so then we can write this for this problem again as ey cosine x minus 6 x squared y dx plus ey sine x minus 2 x cubed plus 5 dy so now this is in the standard form so that means uh, we know the what those two functions are so that is the m function and that is the uh, n function we normally used to do that because sometimes what happened we sometimes the forget the plus sign and forget the order so that's why we try to write in a standard form just to avoid confusion so we can check first so we can check whether uh, this is exact uh, so da by m over da by y if you take with respect to y what's going to happen you're going to get e y cosine x we are integrating with, uh, we are taking derivative with respect to y so that means negative 6 x squared so that's what you get uh, and you can see that this exactly equals to uh, if you take the derivative with respect to uh, n of x you can see that they are equal if you see with da by n over da by x just check whether it's equal if not you can say it's not equal but it's equal so if you take the with respect to x uh, ey uh, sine x become cosine x minus if you take the derivative with respect to x uh, it's a negative 6 x squared so perfectly fine so that means this is exact equation so your exact equation means there is a function fxy uh, function of xy 
that the partial derivative of that with respect to x equal m function, partial derivative of that with respect to n equal the second function. So we can use that fact now. So we know that there is a function f uh, a partial derivative of that is equal to e y cosine x minus six x squared y. Now what we can do? We can integrate this one with respect to x because the partial derivative of x. So we can integrate with respect to x. So if you do that, you're gonna get f equal. Uh, what do you get? You're gonna get e y. So we're gonna take the integral with respect to uh, x. That means cosine becomes sine x, and the minus uh, integral with respect to x. So that means negative uh, uh, six x cube over three. That means a two x three y, and then uh, yeah. So we are not gonna add, add the constant here, and then do the same thing uh, f y. So it is. Uh, equals to e y sine x minus two x three plus five. So what we can do? We can integrate this one with respect to y. So if you do that, so you're gonna get e y with respect to y. So it's e y sine x minus. If you integrate with respect to y, you're gonna get two x three y. Plus, if you integrate with respect to y, you can 5y. We are not going to add the constant. So, everything is good. Now, what we can do, we're going to see what are the common terms. So, you can see uh, this is a common, these two are common. So, we can write them once. Uh, and then this also common. So, so these are common terms. So, we can write them once. And the, uh, the uncommon term is this one. So, we can write that also once. So, that means your solution is we can write the con. Uh, so, fxy. So we can write the common term once, that means e y sine x minus two x three y. That's the common term, and the uncommon term is five y. So that's the function. Okay, we write the common terms first once, uncommon terms once. And then uh, this is gonna set equal to c. So the solution is solution is e y sine x minus 2x 3y 2x 3y plus 5y equal constant okay as an uh, implicit solution implicit solution because uh, you you can see that you you, you can solve for y good so that's a uh, shortcut method